It's no secret that all prisons are simply terrifying. Even if you choose to ignore the mental anguish of being locked up, there are so many more dangers that await convicts. These so-called correctional facilities have clear social hierarchies, and life is much easier for hardened criminals as opposed to first-timers. Murder, beatings, abuse, theft, and torture are all rampant here. It's not uncommon for former inmates to suffer from mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. In today's video, we're gonna tell you about the most dangerous prisons to ever exist. The Black Dolphin Prison in Russia is a literal hellhole. Located near the border of Kazakhstan, this facility hosts the country's most violent and brutal criminals, including cannibals, pedophiles, terrorists, and serial killers. Approximately 700 convicts live in this prison who have killed almost 4,000 people combined. Imagine that. So it's really no wonder that these prisoners are watched 24 seven via video surveillance and that guards make rounds every 15 minutes to make sure everything is okay. Two inmates share a small 50 square foot cell that is behind three sets of metal doors to keep them extra isolated. The important thing is to avoid becoming embittered. It is so easy to turn into an animal here, but staying human, that's harder. That's why we try, both with each other and with the administration, to stay human. They're only allowed outside for around 90 minutes to exercise in a barren exercise yard. When they're moved anywhere in the prison, they are blinded and bent over so that they can't learn any of the routes or get into fights with fellow inmates or guards. The administration has to be on high alert at all times to make sure that things don't get out of control because these prisoners are capable of anything. Next up on the list, we have the La Sante prison in Paris, France. First opened up in 1867, this is easily one of the most notorious places in the entire world. Many famous names have stayed here, including novelist Jean Genet, Carlos the Jackal, Bernard Tapien, and the infamous gangster Jacques Mezrin. La Sante is known for its inhumanely harsh and unhealthy conditions, which terrify even the most cold-hearted criminals. Almost all of the inmates are filthy because they're only allowed two showers a week. The toilets are exposed and the rooms are rarely cleaned. It also houses multiple mentally ill prisoners who are left alone to harm themselves as well as other inmates. This prison has been the site of multiple brawls, riots, executions, and even escapes. Living conditions have been reported to be so awful many of the prisoners attempt to take their own lives. Next up on our list is Bang Kwong Central Prison in Bangkok. Built between 1927 to 1931, this infamous prison in Thailand has been jokingly referred to as the Bangkok Hilton. Some of the most dangerous criminals in the world reside here, including those who have been sentenced to death. Locals also call it the Big Tiger because it eats men alive. I have no clue when I will die. They could inject me today or tomorrow. As you can probably imagine, it's easily one of the scariest places on our planet. But here, it's not just about the dangerous criminals. This facility has also been notorious for some extremely weird and inhumane customs and traditions over the years. For instance, all inmates used to be forced to wear leg irons during the first three months of their sentence, which was obviously incredibly uncomfortable for them in every way. Even those who were sentenced to death had to wear these leg irons until they were finally executed. While the use of shackles was officially discontinued in 2013, it's believed that some of the most threatening criminals are still forced to walk around in chains. Plus, it's also super overcrowded, and often it's difficult to even walk. You literally cannot lie flat on your back. Put your hands on your stomach. If you do that, your elbows are on two, two other beds. That's pretty damn close, and, you got, and that's 15 hours a day. Like most prisons, this one also has a class system. And yes, that implies to basic necessities, such as food as well. Those higher up receive more facilities and supplies compared to the ones who are deemed to be lower class. There's also said to be a lot of corruption and smuggling involved, as many of the richer inmates are able to get drugs, alcohol, and whatever else they may desire. Plus, anyone who dares to go against them receives either a good beating or a knife in the back. Following up, let's talk about the Kamiti Maximum Security Prison, located in Roysambu constituency in Kenya. You've probably heard how tough the prisons in this country are, and this one is unanimously known as the worst. British colonizers built this facility in 1954 and modeled it after the old style system to house offenders during a state of emergency declared in 1952. Even now, the prison has its original gallows, but it hasn't seen an official execution since 1987. 
The prison has a reputation of being suffocatingly overcrowded as it houses around 2,500 inmates, even though the official capacity is only 1,200. Unsurprisingly, dangerous health conditions such as HIV AIDS, hepatitis, gonorrhea, tuberculosis, syphilis, and many more are rampant here. Every Kenyan convict tries their very best to avoid being sent here. In 2008, the infamy of the prison grew even more when the prisoners started rioting after a contraband search. In 2021, the prison was once again in the news after three super dangerous convicted terrorists managed to escape the facility. In the aftermath of the incident, no less than seven wardens were arrested for aiding their escape. Even apart from this, it is wildly known to be the site of prison fights, killings, and much more. Many of the inmates never make it out alive, and even if they do, they have to live the rest of their lives being traumatized by all they had to go through. The next terrifying prison we have on our list is Terry Holt in Indiana. This complex consists of three units, maximum, medium, and low security units. It's been called Guantanamo North by many and is currently home to the infamous Boston bomber, Johar Zanayev. He's on death row, which has been accused of having grossly inadequate conditions at its special confinement unit. Basically about any really bad thing you can imagine, they send guys here for that. Terrorists, murderers, you name it, they're here. The prisoners are denied basic healthcare services, and at night they are subjected to so much noise that many of them are suffering from sleep deprivation and consequently severe mental health issues. The terrible reputation of the facility still stands, and in January 2021, it was reported that Terry Holt had the highest number of COVID-19 cases in the entire federal prison system. Many have called for this facility to be reformed completely, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon. In July 2021, the United States Department of Justice is reviewing its policy on capital punishment, and thus, federal executions have been at pause. Just three months before the end of Trump's term, his administration carried out 13 federal executions, including that of Lisa Montgomery. She was the first woman to be executed by the government in over 65 years. As of right now, 46 men are on death row at this facility. Dylan Roof, who famously killed nine church parishioners in Charleston, South Carolina, is also present here. Moving on, let's talk about the Diyarbakir prison in Turkey. This facility was built in 1980 by the Ministry of Justice. After the Turkish coup d'etat, this location became a martial law military prison where torture was used almost every day. Almost 650,000 people were detained here, and most were beaten, tortured, or straight up killed. Reportedly, more than 500 died during this period. Many of the former inmates who were present in Diyarbakir during the 1980s have shared horrifying stories. They were reportedly subjected to systematic torture, mental abuse, as well as sleep and food deprivation, mock executions, extractions of healthy teeth and nails, sexual abuse, electric shock to genitals, hangings, and worse were all rampant here. This unacceptable violation of human rights against Kurdish prisoners is what fueled the rise of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which still protests against the state of Turkey. In 2021, it was announced that the Diyarbakir facility would turn into a cultural center, a decision that was wildly controversial. Finally, let's take a look at the Mendoza prison in Argentina, a place so terrible that many of the people in prison have gone so far as to sew their mouths shut in demand of better living conditions. It's severely overcrowded, and an average of five inmates are crowded into tiny cells that measure only about 43 square feet. Many of them are also forced to sleep on the floor without mattresses, pillows, or blankets. Apart from that, there are barely any toilets, and the few that are present are unbelievably dirty and unhygienic. As a result, Result, they resorted to using plastic bags and bottles as their washrooms due to the lack of a proper sewage system. Many of the prisoners suffer from viral conditions such as muscle skeletal disorders. And of course, there's little to no professional help available. Reportedly, medical staff is only called once one of the inmates has passed away. The guards make sure they always have full control over the inmates, and they'll often use torture to exert their dominance. If someone crosses them too much, they won't hesitate to execute them and then blame it on the other inmates. In case of a potential prison riot, the administration simply imposes a lockdown that may last from weeks to months. Even the guards refuse to enter some of the more dangerous pavilions, instead leaving the meals of the inmates at an agreed spot some distance from the interior. And that's a wrap for this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more videos like this. Goodbye, and see you in the next one.